Hey, hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Larry and today we're doing a little experiment. Uh, we recently started a hydroponic garden and we put our first video out on that. Now it's just a couple of plants in the old system but we just got the craze that everybody seems to be into right now. Planting plants in plastic pipes and growing it with nothing more than water and nutrients. It's all new to us but with the cost of vegetables nowadays, well I think we're going to try to jump on a train. Now keep in mind, we're no professional. That's why we're putting out this video. We'd like to know what your thoughts are on the results of these uh, tests on these different types of water and uh, why one of them is so toxic, maybe. As you see, I've got a pH meter and I've got a TDS-3 meter here. And uh, first thing we're gonna test is the actual water pH, le uh, pH levels. Now the first one is tap water. Uh, let's start with the tap water in the middle here. That one's straight out of our faucet. Uh, this is what they expect us to drink. I think it's a little over the uh, normal level by about three times. Um, man, kind of scared me when I found this out. So we're going to put the uh, pH level meter in there. Let's see what it comes out to. About a 7.7. Seven, which I guess is not bad. Me and I don't know much about the levels of this stuff. Alright, the next one we're going to do is actually going to be the, uh, the rainwater. Now the rainwater straight out of the sky into a bucket. Well, it actually came off the top of my RV. It is 7.7 .7 on the pH. Now we're going to go to the tap water boiled and it is 7.7, 7.8. It bounces back and forth. Now the next one we're going to do is the nutrient solution. Now that's got miracle Grow in it and it's got the mixture that everybody's advertising out there on eBay for the hydroponic gardens. It is 7.1 with all the mixture in it. Now a lot of you are probably going to say, why are you using miracle Grow? It doesn't work. Well, I started the project, didn't have the nutrients, and I wanted to get it off the ground to see if it was even possible. So I did use the miracle Grow, and the plants are growing. Maybe not like they should be, but they are growing. Now then we're going to grab the TDS-3. We'll turn this thing on, and uh, we're going to stick it in the tap water first. Now this alarmed me. It's in the tap water, and I don't know if you can see it because of the way the sun is, but it's 933. I think the acceptable level is two, around 250 or so, and then it starts getting on the toxic side. So that's the tap water. That's what the municipality water that we're supposed to be drinking reads at. Now, I hope y'all are watching this close. Tell me how bad this water really is. I don't know nothing about these meters. Now the next one we're going to do is a tap water boiled, made a considerable difference. Look at that, at 105. Now that's the same water that was in the tap water, we just boiled it. We wanted to see what the difference would be. That is acceptable according to what I found out on the internet. The internet says 250 or less. So yeah, I would drink that, but I'll let my dogs even drink it. Now this is the rain water. Man, look at that one, would you? Oh, let's get it where you can see it maybe here. 057. You know, that's something we need to be drinking every day, I guess, according to the information I got off the internet. Now we're going to go to the one with the nutrient solution that I use in the hydroponic garden. Well, I know someone's playing a game on this there, but it looks like around 350. Now that's with all the nutrients added, all the the Epsom salts and everything else that came in the kit that I bought online for the, the hydroponic garden. Well guys, I hope the ones of y'all that are watching this will share your knowledge, input on this topic. Uh, I'm a little leery about the tap water. That's got to be devastating for animals, human consumption, and plants. Now, uh, like I said, I'm no professional with this. I value this information very highly. I hope you share your input, hit the like, subscribe button. As I progress with this project, I'm going to 
update more information, make more videos, and try to learn and understand more about it. Stay tuned for future videos. Hit the like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.